Okay, here we are back in Octopath Traveler 2, where we last left off, we arrived in Sai, and we were able to do the Chapter 2 of Cassie's story. Following the clues she discovered in her treatment log, Cassie arrives in the town of Sai, with no other lead she decides to explore the area. So this is Sai. According to my treatment log, I've been here before. Perhaps something in this place will help unlock the door to my memories. Help! Someone! Anyone! My friend is wounded! Someone help him! What's going on? Damn! Again? It'll be someone else's turn next. It's been tit for tat. May I ask what's going on? Fighting, lady. With the soldiers of the town over yonder. Folk living in this neighborhood are outsiders. Immigrants. We don't have much to live off of. Anyone who wanted to make a good life for themselves used to head to the next town for work. All was fine, till a few years ago. Folks there suddenly decided we were undesirables. That's the cause of the bloodshed? That's the short of it, yeah. So my turn. Who are you, lady? You don't look like one of us. Just a simple traveling apothecary. I seek only to give aid. If you have wounded, I will treat them. Where can I find that woman who was shouting earlier? The hospital. It's in a hovel in the northwest of town. Thank you. I'll head there immediately. How long are you slouches planning on lazing around? You know the rules. You don't work, you don't eat. I... Uh... Master Edmund, please. I've only just staunched this man's wounds. Spare me the sob story, bone mender. A man's got to be strong if he wants to make it in this world. Got to be a provider, you get me? You don't work, you don't eat. No excuses. Excuse me, but if I may intrude... Haven't seen you around here before. You got a problem with me? Speak up! Injuries need time to heal. He cannot work in his condition. He requires rest now. Exertion will cause his wounds to reopen, putting his very life at risk. <gasps> Boss, I... I can't. <sighs> Worthless. This is a waste of my time. Listen up, all of you. You got backbone, you come with me. Out of my way. Don't bother me unless you can hold a sword. <laughs> the pain! The pain! These people are suffering. I must help them. I should speak to that apothecary. Thank you for before, Miss... Casti. I'm a traveling apothecary. May I offer my assistance? It would be most welcome. There's more hurts here than I can tend alone.
There. We've done what we can. It's still too early to rest on our laurels. We'll need to burn the candle at both ends tonight. I... Hold on. I was too busy to give you a good look earlier, but... We've met before, haven't we? You'll have to forgive me if I don't recall. I've lost my memories. I see. I've been retracing my past, trying to discover who I am. In that case, it's my turn to help you. Ask me anything. I'll be glad to answer. Sai is solo apothecary. She has cared for his residents for quite some time. Mao has met Casty before and would like to help her restore her memory. to all their hurts alone. Huh. I heard this town had troubles, but yeesh. Then our journey here was not wasted. These wounds fester faster than I anticipated. The desert climb I wager. Just like the chief said, Good thing we came prepared. Excuse me, who are you people? Heirs Apothecaries, we're here to help. Heirs Apothecaries? Chief! I've done what I could. The rest is up to you, Chief Casty. Was I the leader of Heirs Apothecaries? It was four years ago, if I recall. Not long after the fighting began. You arrived at the head of your apothecaries to offer aid to our wounded. <sighs> the name Heirs Apothecaries was anathema in Canelbrine. And yet... Here, they're seen as saviors. Why? Mender! There are more wounded on the front lines! Take me to them. I'll see to their hurts. Wait, there's no need to risk your life for us. You're here to reclaim your lost memory, right? I am, but healing those in need is my mission and my creed. Casty. Thank you. I'll leave the front lines to you and see to things here. I save who I can, that's all an apothecary can do. They were injured. Where are they? Ha! <laughs> None here. Not on our side, anyway. Was there some mistake? A messenger came speaking of wounded. Yeah, they're wounded. Enemies. I planned to really show them what for today, so we set up a little ambush. 
<laughs> when what do you know? Huge patch of quicksand appears right as they were marching over. <laughs> the fools all got swallowed up by the sands. Gulp. <laughs> Serves them right. <laughs> I could get used to this. Victory without even drawing my sword. <laughs> Whoa there, leaving so soon? Of course. Those people are in need of my aid, and so to their aid I go. <sighs> you think I'll just stand here and let you help our enemies? I feel bad for them, but it wasn't our fault that that happened. It was all up to luck. We even wanted to lift your finger. Stop, or else you'll end up in the quicksand with them. A few enemies is good news for us. Don't do anything to ruin our odds, here. Alright. I'll give it my alternate just like I did yesterday and the day before. Perpetually cheery soldier, not even long wars enough to shake his optimism. First, offer words of encouragement to comrades in arms and danger draw near. That was big. And good night. Good night. Quartz blade. Steel lance. Bone mail. Like, if Temenos had access to more spells than he actually does, this would be okay. If I were to turn Oswald into a warrior, this would be okay, because it would, like, we'd have spells to actually use, but currently we don't. As for this bone mail, it's actually a nice chunk of defense. I think I will give it to her. Oh, and the spear. I don't have anyone who can use the spear at the moment, but I think I have that type already. I think the monsters outside town pay more than the ones here. You can steal plums from the assassin bugs, I guess. That's something, even though plums are kind of falling off in terms of effectiveness. We do not have Particio or Agnia with me currently to get bonus money, bonus leaves. Hello! Is anyone there? Please, shout if you can hear me. <clears throat> Over there. Found you. You move fast, girl. Shh. Quiet. That way. Hey. Please, help me. I, I, I can't move. Don't move. I'm coming. It'll be all right. Hurry, before it gets back. Stop thrashing. Strange. Everyone here seems terrified. Were they attacked? This isn't good. At this rate, they'll freeze. You there. Yes, you. Bring me kindling. Anything that can make a fire. Water, too, while you're at it. Don't spout nonsense. I'm not helping them. They're enemies. I ain't giving them a drop of... Stop blustering and fetch. Now. Huh? Damn your eyes. Fine. Kindling in water, right? Thank you. These people owe their lives to you. I was like them once. I was a soldier for the other side, living fat off my daily wages. 
One day, a bunch of outsiders tried to move into our kingdom. Lots of kids. Well, we went in and sent them packing. King's orders. Didn't think much of it at first, just followed orders. But eventually I started thinking. Is what I got worth bullying innocence? Do I want to protect my coin that bad? Long story short, I got real pissed off about it all. So I switched sides. Hmm. You know what, Bone Mender? It takes a lot of guts to stick your neck into someone else's fight just to help folk. Watching you work, well, makes me feel like an idiot for fighting in the first place. I'm a simple healer, nothing more. <clears throat> I'm... I'm alive? That you are. The others, too. My name's Griff. I command these soldiers. They were marching to battle when a terrible monster attacked. The ground turned to quicksand, and we were pulled under. A monster? That sounds like a sand lion. A sand lion? What's that? A beast that lives in the sands round here. Usually pretty docile. All the fighting must have set the thing off. Once one of them goes berserk, nothing to do but run for the hills until it calms. But many of my soldiers are still back at our encampment. They're in peril. I must warn them. Hold on now. You're too injured. I'll go. As will I. Commander Griff, you're still too hurt to walk. Rest. Recover your strength. Thank you. Come on, Bone Mender. Time to go to someone else's aid. Okay, I had to get the door there. Um, so that part didn't make any sense to me, because supposedly our buddy Edmund here is the one who turned the creature loose. I mean, he was, led them into a trap, right? So surely he knew about the creature. And then he just changes his motivation that fast? That makes literally no sense. That is... It's shoddy writing. <laughs> I don't know if something's lost in translation. I haven't heard anything about this part, so... Maybe something was? It's just weird. His transformation happened in less than 60 seconds. Didn't mean to push that. But I want it dark out. And then these guys are also supposed to just let him in? Oh. Damn. Were we too late? They remodeled the place. There's no one here. I can only pray they weren't caught when the ground gave way. Help me. Hold on, I'm coming. Watch out. Wow, they don't even. I was wondering, like, is there loot around here? Is there something you can interact with? Something you can find? Because I can see the chest up there, but how do we get up to. Oh, back here. So I am replenishing my funds slowly, and I have enough to go re recruit that one guy who gives the 20% discount, like what's his face was supposed to. That freaking liar. Went up here for a dual flower. 
trying to force a fight right now. I think I'm getting like 699 leaves per battle. I'm kind of indifferent to the JP gains right now because we don't have access to all the sub jobs. I do have a idle warrior slot that I could do, but it's just this particular group only. I don't even want to. Um, the chest was an album of life. As I was saying, like, I don't have enough gear, I think, to really deck out Oswald, and he doesn't gain as much as some of the others would, because he should be more about magic stats and stuff compared to the physical stuff you'd find in. Hold on a second. I have an idea, but I can't do it here. You'll have to wait for a different video, sadly. Let's so check it out. I forgot to point out, Throne is the most elite character of the bunch. Especially the payout here isn't really that great. This is no grinding spot, don't get me wrong. See, so yeah, I guess that's just a dead end to kind of throw you off a bit, but these dungeons are really simplistic. Are you alright? Somehow. This guy is too. You're barely scratched. That's a relief. Yeah. The Sand Lion's back there. We need to pull these people out quickly. At this rate, they'll be buried alive. Are you well enough to help, Master Edmund? I'd like you to pull these people out and get them to safety. Hold on. What are you planning, Bone Mender? I'm going to have a word with that sand lion. Do you have a death wish? Let me call for backup first. There's no time. If it thrashes about again, every last person here will call these sands their grave. But you'll... Here's a fun fact, Master Edmund. Apothecaries are trained in combat medicine. I can handle myself. Don't worry about me. You've got some guts, Bone Mender. Leave these people to me. Just... don't die. Thank you. Take care of them, Master Edmund. these people to me, just don't die, I repeated what you said a second ago, and there's no real incentive for me to put off the fight any, so this is what we're going in with. I'm intentionally walking to try to prevent the fight, well, a random fight. We want this fight, though. Hello, Sand Lion. Sorry I have to do this, but I can't let you run amok any longer. Time for you to take a nap. I'll send you back to your nest. My turn. Thinking time. <laughs> to work. Well now. Just Sally, that blind <laughs> Very well. So if you get the chance, make sure you fight this guy during night. Just no, I'll see a way. There. My turn. Yes. 
us. Thinking time. Okay, that's a point. Because other window should be ice. So the things that fit in that window, in case you're wondering, are going to be lightning, wind, and light. You're open. Thinking. Calculations complete. Very well. I was curious if Cassie would still get a good turn this turn. I won't back down. Now my back. axe is my strongest move on Tempest. Ready? But I won't hold back. Like, it's too early for me to do that. Footed. Since I went first, to work. obviously does that obscene amount. Holding on, make the darkness. Here I go. These hands. Thinking time. Lamb. The only downside now is there's a little bit of randomness for when he's gonna break. Afraid of the dark. She's almost out of well, SP. Yes. Cleaning time. He is going to break here. Odds are it's gonna be a junk that he has anyway, so I'm not to too work. worried about trying to steal. Yeah. I need a loot. You got Here I go. You had one job. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna play it safe and do this. Here's the frost. Brilliant, Professor. I won't hold back. Heavy footed, you? I should have no. used her late now that I think about it. Because I think that was her complete. In the pursuit of knowledge. Instead of doing it this Peace way. Well now. Uh, Ooh, I don't know if her axe or her ice is stronger. Very well. I won't back down. The darkness. Look. Bludgeon. What to do? My turn. Thanks. Okay, that actually was bad. <laughs> what to do? Afraid of the dark. Well now. Poison 
Yeah, not too much for her to do, I'm afraid. I'm gonna defend here just in case I get a nice hit. Ready? My sword is strong. Very well. Be healed. No. Then go here for a moment. Here I go. Do not think that of me for this. Queen time. No. I hope it's learned its lesson. The shaking stopped, and the sand seemed to have stabilized. We should be able to focus on rescuing those still trapped. Which only leaves the little problem of war to deal with. Edmund. I never thought I'd see the day you'd save my life. I had thought of outsiders only as threats. Locusts that devoured our food. Contributing nothing. But it appears that I was badly mistaken. <laughs> I swear to you that when I return, I'll make a proposal to the king himself. I'll beg him to let us lay down our arms and welcome your people as our own. Seems I owe you an apology, and my thanks. <sighs> if it wasn't for a certain nosy do-gooder's nonsense, I would have never opened my eyes. It's better to join hands as friends, than raise arms as foes. I couldn't have said it better myself. I owe my life to your mercy and your valor. I won't soon forget it. You... are one of Heir's apothecaries? Yes. I heard they were a gang of scoundrels who murdered the sick under their care. It seems those rumors were greatly exaggerated. You saved the lives of me and my soldiers. On behalf of all of us here, I thank you. I only did what was right. I hear that you've misplaced your memories. Yes, but... A rumor reached my ears not long ago that may interest you. What sort of rumor? It concerned Heirs Apothecaries. Heirs Apothecaries. In other words, the association I was a part of. If I speak with him, it may jog loose some memories. Let's see if we can interact with anyone in here. 
Still nothing under her. I save who I can. That's all an apothecary can do. I think that's what she said last time. Save my life, I gladly tell you what I know. So we're gonna get another flashback here, just so you know. One of Aerith's apothecaries visited... One village Aerith's apothecaries visited saw its residents collapse and die in rapid succession. Those who fled the village and survived report seeing purple rain pouring out of a strange cloud above the village. village. Wait. Rain. Purple rain? Dead. Rain! Storm! Keep on pouring! Do you understand what you're doing? Of course, Chief. I'm following our precepts to their logical end. Extending a helping hand to all in need. Isn't that right? <laughs> this rain brings salvation! From the look on your face, it seems you've remembered something. If you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave now. Goodbye, Apothecary. <sighs> what was that horrendous rain? And who was that robed figure? I... Remember, <sighs> something terrible happened in that place. I'm sure of it. Some awful tragedy. And I need to remember. In a town of immigrants, Casty meets someone with knowledge of her past. Dark rumors swirl about heirs apothecaries, and Casty is haunted by disturbing images dredged up from deep within her. What lurks in the midst of her past? Casty must continue her journey to find out. Casty the Apothecary Chapter 2, Psy Route End. Thanks to you, Cassie. We owe you so much. The 
Only apothecary in the old quarters aside. Though she never intended to stay for long, she's been here for over ten years trying to stand the endless tide of sick and injured. That was... I almost forgot. Yoink and yoink. So the jams we got from... I don't know if that's like a full restore or not. But still, it's nice to have them, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna put the break here. We pick up next time. I actually need to go to New Delstra. I have to go there before I can pick up any new recruits or anything, so... Yeah, I have to do a little bit of wandering off camera. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Okay, I realize I did not do the travel banter on her, so let's do these real quick. I have to splice it into the chapter video. This hospital is quite the mess. Unsanitary environs are unacceptable for a place of healing. We need to clean it up. Clean, you say. Very well. Where do we start? I should think that would be obvious. We'll start with the dross, the dregs, the scum. I couldn't agree more. We'll rid society of all its filth. Rid? I suppose, yes, we should be thorough. We need to scrub this place down. Exactly. We won't want to leave any evidence behind. You don't need to tell me twice. We'll sponge, mop, and towel the place dry. Cold water's best. It'll clean up any blood that may spill from our targets. Targets? You mean our patients? Is it just me, or have we been having two separate conversations? It certainly seems that way, yes. And it's probably conversations like that that Therone is one of the most... Well, she is the most popular female. I don't know if she's the most popular character over here, Kari, or not. And... Uh, uh, yeah, Oswald finally speaks to someone. Master Edmund is talkative. Yes, you're polar opposite, Oswald. Not necessarily. I'm quite loquacious during internal debates. What do you mean? I maintain multiple mental versions of myself, each with a different perspective, and we're constantly debating. So you talk to yourself, that's kind of funny in an odd way. Well, sometimes he needs an expert opinion. I thought you were a kindred soul, Casty. Someone told me that they overheard you talking to yourself. They said it was like you were conversing with someone who wasn't there. Really? I don't remember ever doing something like that. Hmm, so could Casty be her own enemy? What amnesia feels like. Howdy, Casty. Is it just me, or are you looking worn out? I appreciate the concern, Particio. Physically, I'm healthy and whole. My memory, on the other hand... Don't push yourself too hard, you hear? Lose memories. I can't imagine how hard that must be for you. I can't say. There's still so much I don't understand. It's like, there's something right in front of me, but I can only see its shadow. Isn't it odd to be so distressed by something that doesn't exist? Maybe, if it doesn't exist, you wouldn't even know to let it bother you. But with amnesia, that very void is what absorbs all my thoughts. It's like there's a huge hole in me. I feel an inexplicable sense of loss. I'm having trouble picturing what that's like. Wait a sec, come to think of it, I don't remember what I did last night either. Really? My memories there, at least, are fresh and clear. After you downed three full glasses of wine, you and I got up to all sorts of naughty hijinks. Huh? We did? It's all a blank to me. That wasn't enough for you, Mr. Wild Stallion. Next, we did that, and that, and... Whoa there, just what happened last night? I'm dying to know. And that's what it feels like to lose your memory. Apparently she remembers all the unnecessary stuff, though. Black swelling. Casty, what happened to your arm? There's some sort of black bruising on it. Oh yeah, they're going full Princess Mononoke. Well, it's the wrong thing, but yeah. 
This isn't a bruise, but the vestiges of some sort of malignant smelling. I know that much, but I can't remember when or where or how I got it in the first place. Do you think it's related to your memory loss? Very likely. From my examinations, the origins of this blackened scarring are abnormal. It wasn't caused by injury or illness, if I'm correct. Rather, it must have been caused by some sort of unique and potent pharmaceuticals, such as poison. Is that something you would have handled in your work casting? An upstanding apothecary is unlikely to ever use something so dangerous. I worry about what I may have gotten up to in my past. You need fret casting. I trust that you are and always were a good person. the sand. If everyone can master it, we'll all be safe from the quicksand. I call it the sand step. That sounds like a lot of fun. How do you do it? It's hard to walk on sand, right? That's because people try to walk their own way, ignoring where the ground wants to go. So if you move in harmony with the shifting sands, then... Agnia! I slipped and twisted my ankle. There, there, it'll be alright. I'll have you patched up and jiffy. I'm sorry about this, Casty. Don't be, you were just trying to help everyone. I'll pass on learning the sand step, but I appreciate the effort nonetheless. The enemy sent. So she doesn't have one with Temnos, does she? Careful, Casty, the scent of our foes is getting stronger. That sharp nose of yours is a lifesaver. It seems very agitated, just getting close will send it into a frenzy. If it grabs us, it'll chop us to pieces with its big fangs. Wow, you can determine all that just by smell? No, it peeked its head out earlier. That's how I knew. It's not just your nose that's sharp, but your eyes, too. Can you give me more details on what we're facing? What sort of beast it is? I don't remember. Well, clearly Oshet has a future in the government. That's all I can say. 